Hi, everybody. Ooh. Um, I'm going to tell you all how to build a blog system using Ember in 15... Oh, hold on, that's not quite right. I only have five minutes, so I better get cracking, so I need to be quick about this. A um, little bit about me. I am a developer at Simplabs over in Europe. I'm a member of the Ember Core learning team, and I am the owner of that little cutie called Rodney. Um, I... Uh, some of you might know me from a little project that I was working on called Ember Ghost. Um, I did do a talk about this in Ember Fest this year, but I'm not going to be talking about Ember Ghost today. Uh, instead, I am going to be talking about Empress Blog. And Empress Blog is exactly the same thing as Ember Ghost, but with a slightly less confusing name. Um, so Empress Blog is just a really quick way to get started with Ember. To write a blog, you write your blog in Markdown, but because it is an Ember app, you get a really quick, uh, quick start, a quick, quick start um, to get up and running uh, as quickly as you possibly can. So this is a little video of the sort of stuff that we've seen a lot this uh, EmberConf of actually starting a new Ember app. Um, it generates a lot for you, but then all you need to do is to install uh, Empress blog and Empress blog Casper template, which was on the previous slide, and it does a bunch of work for you. Um, you'll see up here, it'll ask me, do you want to change your index HTML? You want to say yes, because Empress blog actually deals with titles and descriptions for you, for all your SEO goodness, so you don't have to worry about that. I get to worry about that. Um, and then once all of this extra work that it's doing is done for you, you get a, a quick NPM start, and then you get a uh, blog on the right hand side there. Now, last time I did this at Emberfest, I tried to do a live blog on stage, but this is not my computer, so I'm not able to do that. Uh, so instead, I'm going to do a live deploy from my phone. So please let the, uh, <laughs> the conference Wi-Fi uh, work. <laughs> um, so what you'll see, if you go to this uh, URL right now, you will see this. And I don't know if you can see that, but it actually says not found in the, <laughs> the top left. So that doesn't exist yet. So what I'm going to do is I am going to use the Netlify deploy button on the Empress blog uh, super quick start, even quicker than a quick start. Um, and you're seeing on screen now roughly what I'm doing on my phone. So uh, I'm going to connect to GitHub. It's going to ask me a question about the... Um, the GitHub repo that it's going to generate for me. So this is now on my account in GitHub. Um, it's already started building. Um, and what you just saw on the screen there is I wanted to set the site details to be change site name to, instead of a random unpronounceable thing, I'm going to be emberconf live. Emberconf Live, is that what I said there? Emberconf Live.netlify.com, saving. Perfect. I was only a tiny bit worried that somebody would steal that on me. Um, but uh, what you should see at this stage, so I can see on the overview that my site deploy is in progress. So if you are looking at this on your phone, hopefully in about a minute or so, you will see what you see on the screen up here, which is essentially a live deploy of what was a 404 page. And that is essentially it. If anybody wants to try out a blog uh, and make one of these, you can come talk to me. You can have a look at the Empress, Empress blog uh, GitHub repo. You can tweet me and ask me questions, and I'm always happy to talk about Empress blog. Thank you. Thank you.